Boxing Ego Quick Hits. Ego? Ego, E-G-O, Boxing Ego. Boxing Ego. Boxing Did you spell it? You spell that shit. Like I said before, Shakur Stevenson, he, he's a hell of a fighter. Devin Haney, he's he's a young, hungry lion. He, too, is a hell of a fighter. Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I ain't got to worry about it. Says Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson should fight each other instead of worrying about Javante Tank Davis. That's what I will talk about in this video. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Boxing, Ego, quick hits, less intro, less filler. Let's get it. So... Floyd Mayweather did an interview with Fight Hype and said, quote, Shakur Stevenson's a hell of a fighter. Devin Haney, he's a hell of a fighter. But guess what? If top rank has Devin Haney and Shakur, they need to fight each other. Don't worry about Javante Davis. Let Tank continue to do what Tank's doing. Now, you know, I'm sure a lot of people feel different ways about this. But I don't really see anything that Floyd said that's wrong. You know, some people are going to say that this is a deflection. Floyd always seems to get this. You know, I remember when Floyd Mayweather, when Keith Thurman was calling him out and Keith Thurman was saying he's ready to burn money and things like that. Floyd Mayweather said that Keith Thurman should fight instead Errol Spence Jr. And some people even use this as kind of a catalyst to get on Floyd's case and suggest that Floyd was ducking Keith Thurman and using Errol Spence as a bodyguard and as security. But really, from what I've seen in Keith Thurman, and this is, I like Keith Thurman, not a knock on him. I don't see him beating Floyd Mayweather. I mean, if you're going 12 with Leonard Bundu and, you know, you lose to Pacquiao, things like that, I don't see how you were going to beat Floyd because Floyd fought guys that are like canelo who are bigger and likely stronger or just as strong you know at 152 and then canelo rehydrated stuff like that he fought de la jolla so if those guys didn't beat him you know i don't think keith thurman would so some people are going to be rubbed the wrong way because he's pitting two other you know rising stars in boxing against each other but again i don't see anything really wrong that he said because that's facts i mean if they're both with top rank devin haney did a multi-fight deal per, like personally i would rather see devin haney and shakur stevenson for real than devin haney versus george cambosos too i understand the nature of business it's not really devin haney's doing or saying but there's a rematch clause that being said i still don't really need to see devin haney versus cambosos jr we're just kind of going through the motions here but I seen what I needed in the first fight and I don't see really what would be much different in the rematch. So it would be cool to see Devin Haney and Tio Fimo or Devin Haney and Shakur or somebody else outside of Cambosos. But again, I understand how the, the game works. And at the end of the day, he has a rematch clause. So he has a right to the fight despite what I think or anybody else thinks. As far as Shakur and Devin Haney, another reason why I'm not mad at what Floyd said is because Devin Haney, or actually Shakur Stevenson, did an interview himself, and he said he could see himself moving up to 135 pounds in the near, near future. So that was his own personal opinion, you know? He said that out of his own mouth, so he was bringing up the fight too, as well so it's not just floyd mayweather pushing devin haney versus um shakur stevenson you know shakur stevenson himself has entertained the idea of moving up and making the fight as far as javante davis I, I still feel the same thing i think tank davis is what they say he is the guy from 130 to 140 or whatever he's the a side he's the biggest figure he's the biggest name that's just the reality of it so I, I do feel like some of the other fights, Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney, those are going to be harder to make because those guys are talented fighters as well. And they made good money and, you know, they're rising stars as well. So it's going to be harder to facilitate. The other angle is whether people want to hear this or not, the business, the business of boxing. I don't know that, like, you have to understand there's only but so many hardcore boxing fans. 
like i would say in the tune of 250 to 350 thousand at any given moment it's not like the nba or something where it's just like you have an ongoing 5 million 10 million fans or or whatever the number is for those respective sports so hardcore fans want to see like Shakur Stevenson versus Javante Davis but I don't really know that it is the type of fight that right now in the here and now is big enough where you would get ESPN and Showtime and they're going to be like okay we want to make Showtime and ESPN and split the pie and all that stuff that would be needed to make um those crossover fights like again i've said this before you have to look at how many fights in the history of boxing have been done with multiple networks wilder fury right you got mike tyson and lennox lewis mayweather pacquiao mayweather mcgregor it's not that many you know what i mean so the stakes have to be high for all involved to make that fight so to me it just sounds like a pipe dream Tank and Shakur Stevenson. And Shakur at the moment is not at 35. I don't know if Tank's planning on going back to 130. So I, I just don't really see the fight happening. So why not get Shakur Stevenson versus Devin Haney? You know what I mean? But, you know, I think there's other obstacles in the way of that as well, like Cambosos Jr. So that's my take. Let me know what you guys think. Floyd Mayweather said they should fight each other and let Tank do what Tank's doing. You know, I do want to see Tank in with a big fight. Like, to me, I think even Tank versus Lomachenko, I think you might be able to pull that off because of the level of praise and, you know, two gold medals and stuff like that, more so than Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney even, you know what I mean? But they all could be good fights. Let me know how I did in this video. And I'm introducing Super Thanks right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel gym or lifestyle headphones the hibernations got you covered the new hibernation fives link in the description customize the way you hear the world welcome to the nation are you tired of your youtube videos not getting any views well consider tubebuddy I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.